Hello everyone, I am Nidha Yadav from Surgeon Welfare Society and today I am going to explain the relation between India and Afghanistan. But before moving ahead, I will briefly explain you about Surgeon. Surgeon is doing absolutely good work for our society of women. The vision is to create a surrounding where women can be equally treated, not only just to empower them and to make her an earning educated member of the family. Our mission is to open schools and educational institutions, especially for women from rural village areas, and to make them realize their importance in society. Make women self-reliant and with the identity career and with academic preparation. And now I'll move on to my topic: international relationship. India and Afghanistan have a strong relationship based on historical and cultural links. India has played a significant role in the reconstruction and rehabilitation of Afghanistan. We believe that democracy and development are the key instruments to ensure that Afghanistan becomes a source of regional stability. Afghan President Hamid Karzai's visit to India in order in 2011, which reinforced the strong, vibrant, and multifaceted relations between the two countries, and at the same time formalized a framework for cooperation in various areas between the two countries. Political and security cooperation, trade and economic cooperation, capacity development and education, social, cultural, civil society and people to people relations. This agreement is a strong signal of our abiding commitment to peace, stability and prosperity in Afghanistan during the critical situation of security and governance transition. The commitment is also reflected in our extensive development assistance program, which now stands at around US dollar two billion, making India the fifth largest bilateral donor in Afghanistan after the US, UK, Japan, and Germany. This, by any recording, is a substantial amount of a non-traditional donor like India. There also exists a high-level political engagement with Afghanistan which is reflected in the large number of bilateral high-level visits. There have been frequent high-level visits from both sides in 2011 work, including, among others, External Affairs Minister, EAM, and National Security Advisor, NSA, in January and March 2011, respectively Prime Minister, in May 2011, Special Envoy to PM to Kabul in June 2011 for meeting meeting of International Contact Group, Foreign Secretary in September 2011, Minister of Law and Justice, Sri Salman Khurshid on September 24, and Minister of Steel, Sri Benny Prashad Verma in April 2012. From the Afghan side, high-level visits to India include President Hamid Karzai in February 2011, Defence Minister Wal Thakin in June 2011, First Vice President Marshal Fahim in June 2011, a parliamentary delegation led by Speaker of the Lower House of the Afghan Parliament, Mr. Ibrahimi to India in July 2011, a delegation from the High Peace Council headed by its chairman, late Professor Burhan Ben Rabani in July 2011. Afghan NSA Mr. Randeen Daftar spent time August 2011 Afghan Minister of Mines Mr. Shaharani for the Tamil meeting in September 2011. Afghan Commerce Minister Anwar Ul Ahadi in October 2011 for the CIE SMB Summit President Karzai in October 2011. Minister of Mines and Finance Minister in January 2012 for the CII Partnership Summit in Hyderabad and Foreign Minister Salmai Rasol at the first Partnership Council meeting on May 1, 2012. Lately, Dr. Salmai Rasol, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Anwar Ul Hadi, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Omar Zakirwa, Minister of Mines, Mr. Bahaluddin Sharani, Minister of Mines, and Mr. Asif Rahmani, Minister of Agriculture, were in Delhi on June 2008. 2028 investment on Afghanistan which sought to provide a potential investors from the region and beyond to meet and explore possible cross-country company partnerships on investments in and around Afghanistan in various sectors where Afghanistan holds a promise of significant potential opportunity and need as a means of bringing stability and development to Afghanistan through economic means in the challenging post-2014 phase. 
development partnership india has played an active role in the development of afghanistan based on the understanding that social and economic development in afghanistan is crucial to regional stability the principal objective of india's development partnership is to assist in building indigenous afghan capacity and institutions and to ensure that development touches all the regions of afghanistan and encompasses all the sectors of development India pledged assistance to Afghanistan stands at a little under US dollar 2 billion making it the fifth largest bilateral donor in Afghanistan all the projects are undertaken in partnership with the Afghan government in consonance with the Afghanistan national development strategy India's programs cover four broad areas infrastructure projects humanitarian assistance small and community based development projects and education and capacity development the 218 km road project in Saranj to Teramar in south west Afghanistan to facilitate movement of goods and services to the Iranian border and onward to the Chahabar port was inaugurated by the Afghan president and India external affairs minister in January 2009 India constructed the 202 km long 220 kV DC transmission line from Pune to Mumbai to Kabul and to 220 slash 20 substance chimtala mein uspe ke electricity and lighting up the city of Kabul throughout the year this project was completed in collaboration with the Afghan government ABD and the World Bank with inputs from USAID and international energy firms and in an outstanding example of regional and international cooperation of Afghanistan the other two major infrastructure projects the construction of the Afghan parliament in Kabul and the construction of Salma Dam power project in Herat province and under progress and would be completed by 2012 under humanitarian assistance india supplies 100 gms of fortified high protein biscuits every day to each of the nearly 2 million schools children in 33 of the 34 provinces of afghanistan under a school feeding program administered through the world food program during the visit of president karzai to india in january 2009 india announced the gift of 250000 metric tons of wheat to assist afghanistan tide over its food shortage The Indian medical missions in the five major cities are providing free medical consultations and medicines to over 30,000 Afghans every month. An innovative scheme focusing on small and community-based development projects with a short gestation period and having a direct impact on community life was unveiled during Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh's visit. to Afghanistan in August 2005 so far have been one farm projects emphasize on local ownership and management in the field of agriculture rural development education health vocational training and solar energy education and institution development india has provided every year 675 long term university scholarships sponsored by the indian council for cultural relations for undergraduate and postgraduate studies for afghan students in india Similarly, another 675 annual short-term India Technical Education Corporation training scholarships for Afghan public servants are provided in professional institutions. More than 20 Indian civil servants serve as a coaches and mentors under capacity for Afghan public administration program supported by UNDP, the government of Afghanistan and India. The Confederation. of india industries built in india afghanistan vocational training center of uh, training afghan youth in carpentry plumbing welding machinery and tailoring another innovative program was executed by the well known india ngo seva self employed women association which built a women's vocational training center in bagi zanana in kabul for training of afghan women born widows and orphans in garment making nursery plantation and food processing and marketing capacity building programs are also underway in the fields of diplomacy media and information civil aviation agriculture research and education healthcare and medicinal science tourism education standardization rural development public administration electrical management and administration and local governance 
Beside this, India is involved in reconstruction of the Indira Gandhi Institute of Child Health and the Habiba School in Kabul. India has assisted in the expansion of Afghan national TV network by providing an uplink from Kabul and downlinks in all 34 provincial capitals for promoting greater connectivity. It has also gifted around 1,000 vehicles including buses, utility, vehicles and ambulances to Afghanistan. Agriculture being the key to the development of Afghanistan, India announced at the London Conference in January 2010 100 fellowships for masters and PhD program for existing faculty members in another 200 for fresh graduates each year for the next five years to assist in faculty and student development in the agriculture sector. To build indigenous Afghan capacity and institution, India also announced a strong support to institution building project of the UNTP. In regional cooperation, Afghanistan joined SART at the 14th SART summit held in Delhi in April 2007. Opening possibilities of Afghanistan becoming a trade, transportation and energy hub liking together the countries of the region, Central to South Asia. India has also encouraged Afghanistan's effort at capitalizing on its unique geographical location at the heart of the Asian continent by supporting regional initiatives like the Istanbul process of RACCA that seek to assist in Afghanistan's development through cooperation in a various sectors of the economy. So that's it for it. And if you like the video, please share it with your friends and family.